by understanding those, then we had to study for the AP test, let alone some kids had to go back to do the OGT test. Then you have teachers who are doing double duty, where they would teach, and then they're doing other little parts as far as like teaching, um, studying for the OGT sessions with the seniors, and you may have like, at Glenville we had like 100, like 100 or more um, at that time to study for the OGT. So yeah, all these pressures among grading papers, basic teacher responsibilities, plus going out and um, fighting to get the money to get these books and materials for the class, trying to get your class leaders to control the class. I mean, it's so much. It's like a business, but in the classroom. So that's why it's so important for the parents to be able to work with the teachers because then the education that really needs to happen is really in the home. Because if you are, um, now I'm not saying you know, any parents that are here are not doing this, but if a parent, okay, sees, okay, I have a teacher who is teaching my kid and they're having this trouble, why don't I ask the teacher, okay, what materials would this you know, kid need? Because they do have practice tests, like booklets, that you can order as a student or as a um, parent on discount for your child. Get this material for them, supplementary material, whether it be like the disc, whether it be online stuff, whether it would be the actual book and preparation stuff, or even say, well, how much is the teacher edition of this so I can be able to, you know, help my child study for these exams and make copies of the practice tests because they have tons of practice exams for these things. Do all that at home so by the time, you know, student goes to the classroom with his teacher, the teacher can be like, um, you can do this. Okay, I understand this. I went over this with my, my father, my mother, my aunt, my uncle, right. or my cousin, my brother, and we went over this material. And it's almost, it's self-learning. You know, high school now with the Cleveland District, what I'm learning is that um, you almost have to enroll in Tri-C or Cleveland State because you have to understand the concept of self-learning because now with CMSD, pretty much, need to prepare for college. So in college, you basically self-teach yourself, let alone listen to lectures and things from your professor. So when I was in um, college, while I was in 10th grade, I was in college, I started understanding the importance of teaching myself. So whatever my teachers or whatever whatever they told me to do, I was ended up on independent study in the 11th grade and 12th grade, teaching myself the um, stuff, taking the tests and exams with my class, passing them and moving on. <laughs> Moving forward. So that's like, it's too much pressure, you know, period. I mean, and then if you want to go into building these schools, let alone start building these new schools, that's too much pressure in itself, you know, because you're putting all this new technology and material, let alone spending millions of dollars to build these new um, institutions with the fear of, okay, we're putting all this new money into the material. What's going to happen when the students get in here? Are they going to, like, what just happened with Boyd Park? All the TVs and all that material just got stolen out of Way Park, and that stuff costs about a half a million dollars at minimum. Top-notch equipment. First day open, they, it was stolen. I mean, it's, it's so much going.